hello, hello. Welcome. Give a chance for a few people to come on in. Hello, welcome. All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Oh, gosh, there we go. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Linda. And I'm Michelle. And we are kindergarten teaching partners. We teach TKK in Northern California. And you know us, or we hope you know us or find out about us. We're on um, all the social media and TPT under Kindervations. Yeah. All right. So, go ahead. We, um, we did a transformation over the week. We're just uh, over the weekend or before the weekend. Um, we're getting ready to start an oceans unit. So we're, um, we looked at our NGSS standards and part of it is where animals live and the adaptations they have to have to live there. So we looked at um, different non, we, first we looked at living and non-living things and we started talking about adaptations and we looked at a few of the habitats and, the that, and some adaptations they should have to live Thank in those, um, in those habitats and then we decided we'd do a big transformation on oceans because it's one of our favorites so we just thought we'd come on you a couple pieces how to turn your classroom into an ocean okay oh it's a little so they came up this morning and they saw this sign outside okay and then outside of our door we had um kind of dark sorry Michelle created this awesome door. We got it straight off of Pinterest. Put your paper and silver paint pen. And I don't know if you can see the cute little, and that's just Michelle just drew that on white butcher paper. We put blue cellophane wrapping paper over it. Got it at Hobby Lobby for, I don't know, four bucks a roll. And then glued on some bolts to some silver poster board paper. And then Michelle's awesome husband went and got the, this wood from... He was his, a power pole. He just his, cut. Yeah, he just fast. cut it in different lengths and we wrapped some rope around it. We got the rope at Home Depot. Made a little pylon. We got a little sand on the bottom. So that's how the kids were greeted this morning. Um, and then we had on our $5 life jackets from Walmart <laughs> and our hats from... Um, good old Amazon. Good old Amazon. <laughs> Alright. And then they came in, we told them to take their breath. We were going to undersea adventure and come on into the ocean. Okay. So lots of these ideas we got off Pinterest and then some of them we actually um, thought of ourselves. <laughs> so we can start with the uh, bubbles. So bubbles floating down, these are just plastic um, ornaments hung on fish line hooked onto a paper clip can you believe it and then slid on the little metal um, grid up on our ceiling then you can see the submarines just <laughs> two boxes painted yellow we did yellow submarines and these are paper plates spray painted with hammered silver spray paint and again glued uh, bolts are just glued right on or nuts and this will be up for six weeks. We're doing a huge six yes. week ocean unit. So hopefully they'll last. <laughs> and then um, this is two inch pipe with the elbow and just spray painted with regular spray paint. And we just cut a hole in the top and taped them, uh, duct taped them down on the bottom. And we have two boxes together. These boxes are 18 by 18 by 16 inches high. You could probably get by with narrow ones if you can find them or shorter ones, whatever works for you. We were trying to come up with something that we could move it if we needed to, um, or we could, uh, or that wouldn't get tore up by the kids. So, yeah. So we're gonna go to the windows. Again, cellophane wrapping paper. We tried to find it at the dollar store. They didn't have the blue color we wanted, but we got this at Happy Lobby, I think you can buy it anywhere. It was under $4. Sorry, our um, lines were down. <laughs> that's okay, yeah. Um, and then we just took, again, dollar store uh, tray paper, and we just twisted it, taped it on the top, taped it on the bottom to make our seaweed. 
Okay, we did that on both windows. And we don't have any sea life in here right now, or writing or anything, because that's going to be part of what the kids are doing as they're learning. So as we learn about seaweed, as we learn about kelp, as we learn about the different, different yeah. yeah, we'll write with them, they'll have reports, we'll have interactive writing, up, and then we'll do art projects with them. So that will be all the content that we add to the windows. And then we can come over to our coral okay. reef. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell the ceiling at all. There we have a we got this um little night light <laughs> that it shows like blue water on the ceiling. It's better Amazon. when it's a little darker. Amazon. Little Amazon. More bubbles, more seaweed. These we got, um, I was so excited <laughs> because when I was at one of the craft stores, they had all this leftover um, stuff from St. Patrick's Day that was 90% off. So I paid like 40 cents for these uh, boas and these little um, garlands, garlands. shamrock garlands. But then we saw somebody had done where they just took tablecloths and hung them up and we liked the tablecloths a lot better, but I was too lazy to take the other stuff down. And the lights behind it, we have a we have a normal classroom tree that has little lights on it, and we were trying to cover that up, so we just kept adding and adding. <laughs> and these um, tablecloths, we took them, folded them, and then cut four strips out of them, and then just notched each side. So cut a little V out on on each side of a, about the three inch strip, and it really looks like I know um, like kelp. And then we just I used a staple gun up on the acoustic ceiling. But we tried it first, and it popped right out. It didn't make a dent or even a hole that you could see. Hello, hello. And then, oh, Michelle has got to tell you. Oh, my gosh. Before. Okay, so this was completely on Pinterest. But um, this is, so we created coral out of spray foam, like they used for insulation. And they had me put a, I used like a wooden dowel. Oh, thank you. Um, as a base, but really you don't need that. You can just... Um, kind of free form it and so I let it dry and then um, like the green one I painted after it kind of dried a little bit it expands and I did the same thing for this orange one and then the last one I thought oh I'm just gonna paint it really quickly so as soon as I did it before it expanded I painted it and you can see the texture on this is so much better so that's what I recommend you do if you make coral and then you said you got two pieces of coral out of one yeah, can. Yeah, for one can I got about two pieces of coral. So I finally, I mean, some of these were <laughs> kind of sad looking, but I finally, this is my last one I did, and I kind of got it, made it skinnier little strips going up and stuff. And then she did it on like a plastic painter's. Oh, just a drop cloth, yeah. Yeah, okay. but you could, or you wax paper or whatever, just so it doesn't stick to it. Yeah, so okay. and then we just, all around our room, we have the seaweed going up with the streamers and, and we went overboard as always and we got these little sailor caps at Amazon and we just we teach we each have a half day kinder we share a classroom so the morning class wore these and then the afternoon class we just recycled them in the afternoon class put them on their cloth they were pretty cheap and um, I know I'm a little worried about head lice but you know what's a few bugs when you're doing a classroom transformation <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm just teasing, I'm just teasing. We just had a bunch of head lice checks and we were fine. So I, my favorite part, there's the other window over there. My favorite part has got to be the waves. And these are 97 cent tablecloths. We got them at Walmart, they had them at the dollar store and we decided to go with blue. We saw this again on Pinterest. Um, and we just, we stapled them up again. There's a few that are over lights that we just put clear packing tape on. Um, and everything, it stayed up a couple days now. Nothing's hot. Oh, we felt those lights over and over again. Nothing's hot. Um, and then what makes them my favorite are, these are, do you see the silhouettes of the sea turtles and the stingrays? And it's just black butcher paper. We just, um, I pulled up a picture and I kind of, free-handed it but I mean it was just off of the picture so yeah so we got all these babies and mom thank you and then yeah we decided to add stingrays yeah we have one girl that loves sharks so we had to make sure we had a shark in there 
so. And then our scuba diver. <laughs> Sad. Oh gosh. So, you can so somebody said, that scuba diver's naked. And I said, no, 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 it has clothes on, it's just a wetsuit. <laughs> so there's our sad scuba diver. Okay. And then our anchor, Michelle just drew Excuse this. Steve. We found silver um, poster board paper. It was on sale again, or poster board, it was on sale again. And so she just traced it and then just glued it back to back. And then a chain, these are um, shower oh. curtain rings. I got the 97 cent ones at Walmart. We wanted something lightweight, and oh my gosh, we had all sorts of crazy ideas, but the, I she thought of that and I just spray, spray painted them and we couldn't find the, the right uh, we couldn't find the right color the color but you might be able to find some that color at the dollar store or something so that's about it I don't know if you can zoom it up and they can see how the oh how we hung them so that was so to me that was so clever I saw it in another teacher's room yes just a paper clip so that's it. We're really excited to get into the content today. We just said, you know, what do you know about and did our background overview and did a couple experiments, had the kids taste regular water and salt water so they could talk about fresh water versus salty water and just started reading one of our books about the oceans. And so we'll really get into our content as the days progress. So excited for this unit, excited about this flip. And the kids were so, so, so excited when they walked in the door this morning. Well, thank yes. you, everybody. Thank you to our replay viewers. And, oh, yeah, the silhouettes. I know, when we saw that, we are like, oh, my gosh. That totally wasn't our idea. Pinterest. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And, um, yeah, you can do this, too. It was yeah. it was fun, and, I don't know, kids loved it. It was a fun way to, to kick off the scene. It was. All right. Good Bye. Night. Good night. <laughs>